ever tell you, look how much you've grown, or look how little that bug is. Why do they say that? How do they know what's big and what's small? It's because we measure things so we can compare little things to big things. Today we're going to measure using our lab equipment. Let's get started. Gather the materials that are on the screen. Pause the video until everyone is ready. Now that you've gathered your materials, turn to page 36 in your lab journal. Pause the video until everyone is ready. Step one, find your Petri dish. Place it on your paper between the two sentences. Keep the lid on and trace around it in your journal. What color do I use? I want you to use my favorite color, blue. Okay. Wow, great tracing. Move your Petri dish and use the ruler to measure across the widest part. I would like you to use the side that says inches. How do I know what size inches? Well, the side that says inches should only go up to the number 12. Oh, and the numbers look like they're bigger. That's right. Okay. To start, make sure your zero is lined up on one side of your circle. It doesn't matter where. Now that you've measured, notice is it closer to the number two or the number three? Write your answer in the blank above. I think it's closer to the three right here. I agree. Pause the video until everyone makes their guess. Next, find your test tube rack. Place it in the empty space below the second sentence. Let's use our green colored pencil this time. Trace around your test tube rack. You might need to hold it down with your other hand so it doesn't move. It's kind of a funny shape. What kind of shape is this? It kind of looks like a long rectangle hmm. with rounded edges. And this would be a circle? That's correct. There are one, two, three, four circles in your test tube rack to hold four test tubes. Go ahead and move your test tube rack out of the way. Pause the video until everyone is ready. Use your ruler to line up the zero at one end of your test tube rack tracing and the other end on the other side. Make sure you're using the inches, the bigger numbers. Mine goes right here. Do you think that's closer to the six or the seven? It's pretty close. It is pretty co close. It's almost halfway, but I think it's a little bit closer to the six. I agree. If you drew your test tube rack a little wider, you may have gotten seven, and that's okay. Write your answer in the blank above. Pause the video until everyone has their answer written. Thanks for measuring with us today. Now it's important to clean up. All we have to do is put our color pencils back into the case and all the equipment back into your tote. Remember, you can always practice measuring. You can measure things around your classroom, outside, or at home. It's a great skill to have in science. See you soon.